shipment. It is probably one of the most well-known maps from the Call of Duty franchise, together with Nuketown and Rust. However, Shipment has been remade the most times and also showed up in the most non-Infinity Ward games. And I am pretty sure there have been some that you, who most likely is a Call of Duty fan, didn't even know about. Some of the gameplay in this video has been made possible by Activision, who gifted me Black Cell and the Oktoberfest skins being used. Starting off all the way back in 2007 with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The first small map of the game comparatively to the rest of the offering. Originally added as a complete mistake, according to Infinity Ward's multiplayer design director G of Smith, it was an internal test map that wasn't pulled from the main playlist, and when Infinity Ward found out it was too late to pull. The definition of a happy accident. While in a leaked build of 2009's Modern Warfare 2, Shipment was playable as a placeholder map. It sadly never got shipped, pun intended. There was a shipment in Call of Duty Online, a Chinese version of Call of Duty, which took shipment and made it bigger, while also giving it more verticality. The PlayStation Vita game Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified has a shipment remake named Container, but the game only supported 3v3 and it was set at a stinky factory. And because it was in an unpopular game on an unpopular platform, this was probably the least played version of the map ever. Then it took a little while before the next version of shipment would arrive, under the name Showtime, which took shipment and added extra lanes to it and adding a challenge system where if you complete a mission you can get a bonus like killstreak or gas. It took another while for it to come back, all the way to Sledgehammer's World War II named Shipment 1944, taking place at the headquarters on the beach. There are also a lot more killstreaks than the original Modern Warfare had, bullets penetrate walls easily and those things are resulting in even more chaos. And while it took a few redesigns of the spawns, it is a pretty good rendition. After that we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, set in an actual shipping port instead of Ukraine like the original. Also fun fact, it got flipped 90 degrees in domination compared to the original, and now for some reason you can climb on some of the containers in the middle, really messing up the map's already pretty weak spawns and flow. Then there is Sledgehammer's second go at it in Vanguard, where everything is made out of wood, resulting in some easy wall banging. And they added some new ways of moving around the map by adding some walkways on top of the containers. You could also quickly go out of bounds to flank around. Which is a thing we surprisingly haven't seen a lot of in the Call of Duty franchise on Shipment. This map also made its way into Call of Duty Mobile under the name Shipment 1944. And then there's Shipment on a ship in Modern Warfare 2. Which also got used in Warzone Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile and Modern Warfare 3. But more about that last game in a bit. And the map is the closest we've really gotten to the original Modern Warfare game. In terms of its size, its playstyle and where you can and can't go. The real big difference is that it is set at night so the visibility is a little bit worse. And of course the gameplay and kill streaks loop. But then we got the variations of the map. And goddamn, Modern Warfare 3 has a lot. But starting off with the most special one of them all, in the resurgence mode named Purgatory, there is a flying shipment above Alcatraz that the player can control. Yes, there is a drivable shipment above Alcatraz. There's no walls, everything is made out of flesh, and people can go everywhere since it is parachute response. But there's actually even more variants in Modern Warfare 3. There is the spooky Halloween edition named Ghost Ship, with satanic texts, gravestones, creepy houses and a dark atmosphere. This is probably the most involved remake of them all, with a wall fillet around it, tons of custom assets, a creepy clown looking over you, and I still have no idea what the texts on the walls and floors even mean. It seems to be a combat of some sort, but I am not sure. If you know, let me know. There is a day variant of Modern Warfare 2's shipment, something people have been asking for, so that is nice. Another one set in an arena, called Arena Shipment. The sizes on this map is a little bit different. It also has rubber ducks spread around the map in good sledgehammer fashion. Wonder if there's an easter egg with it. And Walter White's RV from Breaking Bad is parked outside. 
But you won't ever notice that if you didn't go outside with a spectator cam. I wonder why they did that. There is Bitment, which is a voxelized version of the map, just like the Favela remake from Modern Warfare 2. Everything has been redone, including the effects from the oil drilling platform, which is kinda neat. There is Cell Ship, a cell shaded version of the day version of the map. It has been retextured, but nothing else really changed, sadly. It looks okay, visibility is decent actually. In Modern Warfare 3, there is a Christmas version named Shipmus, with a Aurora Borealis hanging over the map, aliens stuck in ice and a creepy skull looking over. While the Modern Warfare 2 version of Shipmus has a far more cozy vibe with decorated containers, a bit of snow, stuffed animals, and it gives you a more wholesome Christmas vibe. Can't forget about Shipmus 1944 from Vanguard Eiter, with the containers being wrapped in paper, an angry snowman looking over and a giant candy cane. And of course there's a big Christmas tree. And as last there is Stay High, an 80s retro vibe version with TVs and pizza and lots of colors, based on the Cat High map. And those were all the shipments from Call of Duty. That's a lot. And maybe we even get the new one in Black Ops 6 or the game after that. Guess I will have to update it then. It's also such a popular map that many modders bring it over to different games. Like here in Battlefield 3 Venice Unleashed, but also the Refractor era Battlefield 2. There are of course multiple versions of shipment in Counter Strike 2, like the classic shipment, but also a remake of the Modern Warfare 2019 version. And Black Ops 3 has a very nice one for the multiplayer, taking into account the jetpacks, but there is also a Minecraft Zombies mod for the game as well. Since Microsoft owns both Call of Duty and Minecraft, I can't believe he never got an official Minecraft version. It shows up as a DayZ map, and in Red Faction Guerrilla, Halo Infinite with its Forge tools, and Ravenfield. But sometimes there's also actual games that straight up steal the design, like Combat Master, which brought shipments, I mean <coughs> cargo, which is just an AliExpress version of the Modern Warfare 2019 version. An Infinity Ward developer named Jeffrey Smith, who was the level designer for the map, he made a lot of other great maps like Crash and Vacant, and it seems like he took some inspiration from a CS 1.6 map. This map is called FY Iceworld, a map that ended up being pretty popular back in its day, with even getting a CS2 remake by a girl named Lily Q, which arguably looks pretty good. And it does share some design elements between Shipment and Iceworld, don't you think? Have I missed a version of Shipment? What was your favorite variant? Or can't you just stand the map at all? And also, do you want to see more longer videos like this? Let me know down in the comments. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny, and I see you on the battlefield.